Finding perimeter of irregular shapes and shapes on a coordinate plane. So how do I find perimeter of shapes on a coordinate plane? It's actually pretty easy. In this example, we have a rectangle. And to calculate the base, we would just count the squares. We have one square here, one here. Um, now, a common mistake that students will make is they'll count these intersection points. For example, they would think that the base of this rectangle is 3, 1, 2, 3. The height of the rectangle here is actually 4 units. It's 4 blocks high. Uh, but again, a common mistake that some students will make is they'll count the intersection points. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They think it's 5 units high when, in fact, it's only 4. And then, of course, to calculate the uh, perimeter, we would just add up the sides. Let's take a look at another example. So here we have a base of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. We have a height of 1, 2, 3. So the perimeter of this rectangle would be 16. We would just add up the sides. And again, just be careful that you don't count up the intersection points. For example, this, some students think this would have a height of 4. So be careful of that. OK, you can actually use absolute value as well to calculate perimeter. And sometimes this is actually a lot easier. So the height of this rectangle, that's easy. That's just 3. But we'll use absolute value to help us find the base. So from here to here, this is negative 9. How far is negative 9 from 0? Well, the absolute value of negative 9, or how far negative 9 is from 0, it'd be 9 away. From here to here, from 7 to 0, would be the absolute value of 7. How far is 7 from 0? It'd be 7. So our base of this rectangle would be 16. So to calculate the perimeter, we would just add 16 and 16 and 3 and 3. Let's take a look at another example. Let's use absolute value to help us calculate the perimeter. Let's start with the base. So from here to here, um, negative 8 is how far from 0 on the, this is your x-axis, this is your y. Well, it's 8 units away. The absolute value of negative 8 is 8. And then from here to here, how far is 2 from 0? It'd be 2. So 8 plus 2, our base would be 10. Let's calculate our height. Well, from here to here, let's look over at the y-axis. From negative 6 to 0, the absolute value would be 6. So from here to here is 6. And of course, from here to here would be the absolute value of 2 is 2. So 6 plus 2 is 8. Our height would be 8. And then to calculate the perimeter, we just add 10, 10, 8, and 8. Now look at this example. Let's figure out the base of this rectangle. Well, to do that, we would have to subtract and I've already done all the work here. We would subtract 90 and 18. So the base here would be 72. And to calculate the height, you would have to subtract 24 and 62. Our height would be 32. And then we would just add up the four sides of the rectangle. And the perimeter would be 220 units. Well, how do you find the perimeter of irregular shapes? Irregular shapes are also known as composite shapes. And they're known as composite shapes because a lot of times they're made up of many different polygons, many different shapes. Uh, there really is no formula, no set formula for irregular shapes. You would just want to show your work. In this example, we would just add up the four sides to find the perimeter. Now, sometimes finding the perimeter of composite or irregular shapes can be a little tricky because not all the sides are labeled. So we see here, there's, we don't know, we can figure it out, but this isn't labeled, this side, and this side isn't labeled. What I like to do a lot of times is to think of this as a rectangle. And let's start with 
uh, this little side here. We know from here to here is 17, which means from here to here is also 17. We know the distance here is 12 centimeters. Well, what would the distance here have to be to make it 17? It would need to be 5 centimeters, which means our missing side here is 5 centimeters. Now to figure out the missing side over here, again, from here to here we have 4 centimeters, and the distance from here to here, well, it would be 15. So if we add 15 and 4, this missing side would be 19 centimeters. Now, let me just move this out of the way. And let me erase some of this. Another little trick you might want to use is when you're calculating the perimeter, what I like to do as I'm adding these numbers, I like to cross them out. I'm going to start here with 12, so we're going to add 12 plus 15 plus 5 plus 4, so plus 15 plus 5 plus 4 plus 17 plus 19. And then you would just go ahead and you would add all these up. And the reason I cross these out is just to make sure that, that I've done, that I've added up all the sides of the irregular shape. Let's take a look at one final example here. So here's another one. That there are three missing sides. This one's not labeled, this one or this one. So again, you want to think of this as a rectangle. And a couple of the sides are pretty easy. So we know this side is 25, so this side over here would be 25 meters. This side here is not labeled. Well, if this one's 17, this one's also going to be 17 meters. The trickiest one is figuring out this side here. Well, we know that this side of the rectangle is 30, and we know that this plus this plus this piece here must also be 30. This little red line here would be 5, because I know this side is 5. So 8 plus 5 is 13. 13 plus this side would give us 30. So that would mean that this missing segment right here would be 17 meters. And let me move this out of the way. And again, so if I wanted to if I wanted to find the perimeter of this, it's a good idea to cross these out. You would add 17 and 25 and 30, 25, 8, 17, 5, and 17 to find the perimeter of this composite shape. So that's how you find perimeter of shapes on coordinate planes and of irregular shapes.